in the last video i was discussing about the special case of this octet okay so in this possibility in this case here i can make the two octets one is this octet and the second one is this okay in this octet how many number of ones is being reused see here this and this these two here these ones are being overlapped are being used by the group 1 as well as by the group 2 okay so this case is called as overlap overlapping case for this case what could be the output y is equal to so the output y is equal to for this group okay i am taking the first group for the first group this is the first group so what are the terms i have to look into this 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 and this since all these four are encountered these will get cancelled why a bar change to a and then b bar change to b next for the first group only these two c bar change to c so i'll not write d remain so d for the next group what i have to write i have to write a plus okay next the second group is this one okay this this so what are the terms 1 2 3 4 next fifth term and sixth term since all the four are encountered cancelled each other by looking these two a bar change to a so we will not write b bar remain same so after deducing this expression the answer is y is equal to d plus b bar okay so these are all the various possibilities for an octet now let us discuss about the quad possibilities so now i am going to discuss about the quad possibilities i have already enter the numbers here okay if this one the ones are like this okay 1 1 1 1 the maximum number of ones which are adjacent to each other are 4 so after solving this uh, uh, how i have to group i have to group these four so what are the terms i'll encounter these four as well as this so for these four cancelled each other so my answer is y is equal to a b okay if i have a case like this okay this one these four terms cancelled each other and this one will be remained so y is equal to c d is my answer similarly even i can get a possibility of ones like this okay here also i can group the ones so the maximum grouping for this is 4 so it is an oct so if i make a group that is an oct so the output y will become first of all what are the terms i have to consider here a b a b bar next c bar d and c d correct so in these two a as it is so write a b change to b bar so i'll not write b bar next here c bar change to c so i'll not write c bar then d as it is so i'll no i'll write d so while writing d some of the students have written like plus d okay some of the students will make this mistake it's not plus d it is d why we have to write an expression for each group okay since it is a only one group for one group one term okay for one group one term if i am going to make any another group in this same came up then i have to write plus okay 
next next possibility could be 1 1 1 1 so again the case which we saw in the octet rolling rolling the map okay if we do so the terms what we have to consider c bar d bar c d bar and a b a b bar so output y is equal to a not changed b changed b changed to b bar here c bar changed to c so we will not write d bar remains same so it is a d bar okay for this y is equal to this is also the same case rolling the map okay here the terms we need to consider a b bar a bar b bar c d c bar d bar c bar d so the answer is a bar change to a b bar not changed here c bar not changed so the answer is y is equal to b bar c bar okay and this is the special case the corners okay for this this is the special case like when i group all the corners of the k map this will make an octet okay for this what are the terms i have to look into and this is also uh, so many students have got confused for this the terms what we need to consider are see here one one okay i have uh, i have put a pencil here see what are the terms coinciding a b bar and here i have placed that is a bar b bar okay and for this c bar d bar here c d bar okay now i have to check output y is equal to what are the terms or uh, sorry what are the variable changed a bar changed to a so i'll not write b bar remains same so it is b bar in this c bar changed to c d bar okay and this this is the overlap overlapping case here i can make this one quad and here also one quad let me group this as one name it as one and it as two okay for the first quad these two terms as well as these two i have to consider okay so y is equal to a bar change to a it is b c bar change to c so it is d now we completed the expression for one quad or one group okay for the next group what i have to write this is a different term so i have to write a plus okay and then for this i'll consider the second for this second what are the terms i have to consider these two as well as these two okay look for the unchanged variable so it is a here it is c so bd plus ac and this is also one more special case here this is one quad and this quad okay by overlapping so let me take it as one okay this as two so y is equal to for the first quad these two and here these two terms so the unchanged variable here is a bar here it is d so it is a bar d for this first quad and for the second quad since i am going for a second quad write plus this is my second quad the terms i have to look are this okay the, so the unchanged are b bar and d so the answer is a bar d plus b bar d fine now let us discuss about the different possibilities of pair okay so these are the a uh, few examples i have taken for the uh, pair to explain how the pair will being uh, formed and what could be the output expression for it okay so i have considered one one here okay so if i don't have any values or any ones here to make a group the maximum grouping i can do is grouping of two these two are called as 
pairs okay so after making a pair what are the to write an output what are the terms i have to look into see here a bar b and here cd c d bar right so for this only a bar b is there only one term being there in among these four so there is no possibility of checking which term is being changed to what so i have to write all the things here so a bar b see here here you are having two terms cd and cd bar d change to d bar so i'll not write c remain same so i'll write c so the answer is a bar b c if you have a possibility like this what we will do we will do we will make a pair like this and then the terms i have to look into are a b a b bar c d bar when i get only one term in a among these four this term will be same okay i can't reduce it from these two b will be reduced from this a here it is c d bar okay if i get a combination like this y is equal to this i can't reduce so it is a b bar and from this d bar change to d and it is c bar and if i have a group like this i can make a pair okay someone may say here these two ones are also adjacent here i can also make a pair okay we can't make a pair like this why because we are always looking for a horizontal or a vertical grouping not a diagonal grouping okay even if you have one here and one here in these two places you cannot group okay vertical grouping is not allowed only horizontal and the vertical sorry horizontal or oh, sorry diagonal grouping is not allowed okay so if i have a group like this the output y will be equal to here these two terms here a and from this c bar d bar for one group one term for the next term what i have to write plus this is the next group so for this a bar b and then from these two c bar changed so it is d okay and if you have a case like this okay rolling the map fine what are the terms i have to look this that is c bar d bar and then a bar b bar a b bar so a changed the same remained is b bar here c bar d bar fine next here same the rolling the map okay this is the case y is equal to what are the terms i have to look into a bar b bar c bar d bar c d bar okay so this a bar b bar will be same a bar b bar here c bar change to c so i have write only d bar next in this this is the special case overlapping case okay this is the first group and this is the second group these groups are called as pairs okay so let me take this as first and this as second for the first for this group okay this c bar d bar and a bar b bar and a bar b from these two what i have to write a bar okay this term is not being completed yet okay i have to see both the horizontal as well as the vertical horizontal is over from the horizontal i got only a bar from the vertical what i have to write c bar d bar okay now this is being completed for the next term write plus this is my second group that is pair okay for this what are the terms i have to look into a bar b bar as well as c bar d bar c bar d okay so since it is single i have to write as it is a bar b bar from these two d bar change to d so i have to write c bar it is unchanged if i have a possibility like this see here can i make a rolling the map by rolling the map this is the first group and by rolling the map like this 
this could be the second group okay in this concept rolling the map as well as overlapping overlapping both are being used okay let me consider this as first one and this as second group okay to write the answer or the term boolean term for this first group okay so for this this is the term 1 2 and vertically this is the term from these two what is the answer we have to write look at this a bar change to a so b bar remains same so b bar and here only one group c bar d bar okay one group or one term is over so plus for the second group this is my second group for this what are the terms a bar b bar and then c bar d bar and c d bar fine so what i have to write here this is not being changed so a bar b bar next these two okay for these two c bar change to c so i will not write d bar remains same so it is d bar okay so these are the various possibilities or the various examples what we have discussed for the octet quad as well as for a pair okay and one more i have to discuss like if i get only one here like this i can't group this one with any other ones here so what i have to do i have to keep it as a single and this will become a third group okay in this example i have considered this as first group second group and this will become a third group to write the third group third term i have to add so this plus this plus for this how we will write the coinciding terms a b c d so a b c d okay so now we have now we have discussed all the uh, various possibilities for pair oct quad as well as for the single in the next videos we will take the problems and we will solve the k maps and will reduce the expressions okay i think you people have understood this concept even if you have any doubts you can ask it in a comment section and even we are having a telegram group also you can post your queries there also if you like this video hit the like button do comment your opinion and share it with your friends thank you for watching happy learning